Today is the last day of school before the Christmas break, and Tyler decided to just stay home. Luckily for him, he's the last person to leave the house in the morning, and he's the first one to get in, so no one ever knows when he skips. His parents are gone, his little brother Terry left, so he has the house all to himself. Now, normally students look forward to the last day of school. I mean, you're most likely going to have all substitute teachers, and it's not like you're going to get any classwork or any homework. In Tyler's case, he's sitting this one out because he just simply has nothing to wear. Or better yet, nothing new to wear. See, Tyler and Terry paid extra money last night to get the Bread Elevens early. They wanted to show them off today for the last day of school, instead of waiting until next year like the rest of the kids. But, eh, didn't go so well. It seems the thought of spending 300 to get a pair of shoes early and not being able to show them off starts to settle in. You know, I don't blame him. At this point, Tyler figures he must get to school the best way he knows how. His older brother, Tim. It's funny because back when Tim lived here, Tyler would sneak out his 2001 breads and have them back safely in the box before Tim got home. Of course, there was no way for him to know. Anyway, Tyler begins to start texting Tim. Looks like I won't be able to show off my breads. Son! I swear to God, if he's wearing my shoes. Yeah, what's up? Son, where are you? Walking home. We got out early. I'm gonna punish you! What? Why? Hey, where are my shoes? I don't know what you're talking I about. I don't have them, so where are my shoes? I don't have them. All right, then I'm taking yours until you find mine. Looks like I won't be able to show off my braids. Son! I swear to God, if he's wearing my shoes. Yeah, what's up? Son, where are you? 